All right, 7.30, let's open up this regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District. Um, call to order a roll call. How about Jason Greenleaf? Here. How about Joe Carroll? Present. Judith Cavallero? Present. Paul Rodriguez? Present. Ruth Summer? Here. I'm Chairman Nick Rico, and Ben Viola is absent this evening due to an illness. So, um, approval of the minutes from the regular monthly meeting on December 19. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. All right, Mr. Carroll. So, any comments, questions, additions, subtractions? Yes, just one uh, minor on each five. Uh, I guess it would be the third paragraph down that starts the superintendent said these are just preliminary plans. Second sentence, I think we're missing a, uh, it says the layout and right of way of the roadway is defined in a preliminary design. I think it's what we're Business maybe as A uh, or A1, please. I'd entertain a motion to do that. So we'll, that's Joe. Second. Second from all. Any questions, discussion? All in favor? <coughs> None opposed? All right, now I'll entertain the superintendent's report. <coughs> All right, a, a copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of December is included in the packet. Our average flow was 1.6 million gallons a day, and our effluent quality was uh, well within our permitted limits. We averaged 95%, uh, 98% uh, BOD removal and total suspended solids removal with concentrations of 12 and 5 milligrams per liter, respectively. I've attached a copy of our annual uh, summary of our lab report of our operations. Last year we treated a total of 508 million gallons of wastewater from which we removed um, overall 93% and 97% of the OD and TSS. Uh, a summary of past years uh, follows. It just kind of shows the consistency of our, our operations over the last few years. Um, I take this information and I, I use it to develop a cost of treatment uh, for conveying and treating the wastewater. And last year, we averaged less than one cent per gallon. That was point oh oh six three dollars <coughs> per gallon. And that is based on the total flow we treated, that 508 gallons, a uh, million gallons, and our total uh, budget, including operations, debt service, and capital expenditures. So I think that's uh, testimony to the, uh, to the operations. Uh, sludge hauling in 2018 was our first year we hauled all of our sludge off-site for disposal and for a total of um, 2,152 uh, wet tons of sludge. Uh, this year we did 2,158 wet tons, so uh, very close numbers. Uh, the cubic yardages uh, vary quite a bit. Uh, the one is reported as 3,000, the other is reported as uh, 2,500 cubic yards. Um, the difference there is that's an eyeball calculation depending on, and there was two different firms. One was Casella, one was uh, REI, and so how they calculate the cubic yards is going to be different. So that's reflected in those numbers. Whereas a wet tons is an actual measure. <coughs> Another thing we look at every year is uh, pump plugging over uh, over the year. Um, 
We had a total of uh, 20 events this year. Um, and only two of them were attributed to wipes. Uh, and it is interesting to note that pump station 20 had seven plugs, uh, pumps from January through May this year. Um, and at the end of May, we replaced an existing 1200 RPM pump, a five horsepower pump with an 1800, seven and a half horsepower pump. And that pump has not plugged since uh, that, that swap out. So. Um, the intent of uh, the change was to increase the speed of that pump operation because I, I uh, um, theorized that the problem was the low speed rotation that was causing the, the lights to get hung up on them. Copy of the pump station flows for the month of December is included with packet. As noted, there was uh, a significant four inch rain event on the 14th that impacted all of the pump stations. There was a sewer service blockage at 7 Avenue 7 on Saturday, January 12th. Phil Connolly was on call and responded, and although the blockage was in the sewer service, once cleared, it required our line to be jetted, and John Kennett assisted Phil with those efforts. Um, Wendy is working hard preparing for the upcoming audit, which will begin in February, on February 17th. Well, it's actually, some of the other work has already begun, but they will be on site on the 17th. Uh, I've prepared a bid package for our uncalled surface truck. Uh, we are basing the spec around a 2020 uh, Chevy Colorado four-door work truck uh, with a plow. Um, so we should probably, probably will have good results for the next meeting for you to report upon. And let's see, we had the uh, Cape Elizabeth uh, Cub Scouts uh, Weebles Den come through the plant tour on the 21st. Uh, we had a total of I think, nine kids and uh, four adults. Um, so that was kind of fun. And then uh, finally, I attached the copy of the evaluation form that uh, we've used in the years past to fill out uh, my evaluation that I inadvertently left out of the packet last month. So if you choose to use it, enjoy. Mm -hmm. So that's my report. Any questions, comments on the superintendent's report? Just, okay. just one, I guess. Um, so even with all the education we've done over the last couple of years, the wipes, do you attribute that primarily to uh, the difference in the pumps, or do you think we need to do a greater education in this year? It's, I, I, well, at, I haven't seen an increase in, um, plugging at some of our pump stations that serves the, uh, uh, the various nursing homes. Uh, those tend to be a big, they were initially a big culprit with regards to wipes uh, causing plugs. Um, so, and I'm not, you know, I'm not afraid to knock on the door and have that conversation, but it hasn't been an issue there. I think we're doing pretty good. I just think it, one reason or another, we had more lights, more plug pump this year than the previous year. Some of those, you know, I think we've resolved the issue at pump station one. It's always been a little bit of a bit of a problem. You know, I was curious, just to drastically increase and then drastically increase. It. Drastically increase. You know, we'll keep an eye on it. If it, you know, I feel it does need some more education, I don't. We certainly will. I will certainly go down that road. I have a question about the peak flow on December 14th. Was that the peak for the year? I don't know. Probably. Off the top of my head, I do not know. What is, what is the 3. number? 3.9. 3.9? If it's not, it's very close. close. I don't know. And the, the plant is only rated for two and a half or three. Lance rated for two and a half million gallons per day on an average daily uh, basis. Yeah. <coughs> the peak flow capacity of the plant is much higher than that. And okay. I don't know what that, that number is off the top of my head. It's it's probably at least four times. No. With, with that 19 and six were pretty high too. Right? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them were here is because of weather. Or? Yeah, the weather. There was we did, four inches of rain. There's an awful lot of weather that between some pumps and uh, manhole covers being underwater. 
just have to be the the system. And that weekend, it was a lunar high tide with the storm surge, and we already had a foot of snow that earlier that week, and there was a lot of snow going on with that rain. So, understandable. Yeah. Yeah. Correspondence. There is none. Old business, also none. New business, same one. Keep bang. So, I request a motion to authorize Jason Greenleaf as our treasurer uh, to execute the key bank documents to open a new commercial deposit account. This account will be used by uh, invoice cloud vendor to deposit online funds they collect on our behalf. Invoice Cloud is part of our new billing software that allows online payments. Funds from this account will then be transferred to our checking account. In addition, Mr. Greenleaf uh, will have to authorize both Wendy and myself as additional uses uh, capable of making these transfers, um, unless he wants to do it himself. ACH, uh, ability to do ACH withdrawals on bank accounts or uh, account clearing accounts, I think it stands for. And so consequently, we actually have those bank account numbers in our office. They're under lock and key, but we are maintaining them within our, our system. And by having Invoice Cloud take over that operation, we will not do that. So then you'll start accepting payments via credit card? Yep. Do they get charged an additional fee? For there is a fee card? associated to it. Um, being a quasi-municipality, we get to pass those fees on to the, to the user. So it's just going to ask about it's only a 3% kind of account all. Yeah. Because yeah. I can add a quick. That's, <laughs> yeah, I have my mind. That's exactly a whole other budget line. Mm -hmm. OK, so those fees will be passed on. Yeah. Any more questions? And this is secure. Mm -hmm. It's I forget the rating classification is the highest security with the rating And if our website gets hacked, it's just a link to the website. Their website. With what? With another link. 
payments would be made to a different value. Well, I mean, I can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I, I think that either they did that, you still need to log into um, the clouds, even your account number and so on. You'd have to you create your own cover. Yeah, you'd have to recreate your own cloud and username and password and account number. Okay. There'd be some sadness there. Okay. The only question I have is our website was hacked and I directed people to different places, including online payments, including different sites. Uh, it messed us up for a long time, at least two weeks, and um, I just wouldn't want that to happen here. It's my only cautionary note. I mean, we take we, we we take all the precautions that we can. I mean, the alternative is we don't accept online payments, and I think we've reached the point that that's all the time. So. Public. Yeah. I think there's cause for concern in this day and age with anything that we're doing online with cards and getting an act or a deadly theft. But uh, we're one of very few utilities around that uh, have not stepped in. The majority of people now want to pay online. So, and I think it's better that we don't have their bank covers. We see people on a regular basis because we don't have one line. <laughs> the only reason why they come down to us. And it's probably the only check that they have to write in the entire month. Some of them don't even have checks anymore. Right. Right. Might make it a little bit more palatable since we just did an increase. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know if it's the same turn. What, the same. What's that? I yes. estimate they did that. Well, Paul and Wyatt are together. Yeah, they do. I don't know if uh, the customers are there. I'm sure we've had that. I think it's been well vetted out. We've had all the right smart people look at it. Okay. You know, and, and with regards to our contract and also with the security, uh, we worked with Ralph, our um, mm -hmm. computer manager. I appreciate the fact that you did the due diligence of having the, uh, the legal team look at it and everything, um, you know, ahead of this for questioning and to kind of help also validate that. Do you know, just offhandedly, uh, and if you don't, that's fine, um, other organizations or uh, uh, municipalities that this company works with? Yes. I know all of them. Okay. And, uh, um, Trying to think, think of them. There's a whole list of them. But they have a history. They have a history, stuff. but they're not. This is we're not their client number one. I can assume so, but I do think they might also use some questions. Right there. No, there there are actually s several uh, districts that use them, and I can actually provide you with that list. If you would like to I'm content. I don't know if the rest of the members would like it. Everything we do is, although Intermed had a big hack, our medical provider, that's kind of personal information they got a hold of. What are we going to do? Cool. Any more questions, comments? All right, I'll take a vote. All in favor? I'm going. <laughs> and that is fine. That's fine. All right, item number A, private way, the Downs, Innovation District. I believe that's why this one is in Clara here. It, it is. I believe why they are here. And it's private way one. Private way one. Sorry about that. <laughs> What's that? Um, let's see. I'll, I'll try to help you out. Thanks. Um, I appreciate it. Private way one is the the private way that comes off of Innovation Way. Innovation Way. On the corner of Innovation Way is this um, and, and uh, this intersection. There is 
the uh, business called AB Tech that got approved a while back. In the last meeting, we approved the business Zoom Gray, which is at the very end of the, 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 the private way. When I was reviewing Zoom Grain, I came to the realization that this private way sewer hadn't been approved, only Innovation Way sewer had been approved. The discussion of accepting the private ways as we um, moved forward with the development of, uh, of uh, the Innovation District would be discussed on a one by one basis. But in theory, the, the, the trustees had uh, voiced that they would uh, were amenable to accepting the, pri the sewers within the private ways because they're serving multiple businesses. But some of the, pri the proposed private ways may not happen depending on how the development unfolds. So that's why they were never designed or put in front of the board to get, it, get approved. So private way one being the first, it got it, it slipped through the cracks before Zoom Drain and AB Tech was approved, um, and so this is playing catch up uh, a little bit. Does that help? It does. The only thing that I was missing was I was trying to I didn't have my blueprints from before, so I was trying to picture where this was in relation to Zoom Drain. Zoom drain, so let's see. It's on the second sheet at the back end. Nice one, we're missing. It's on the second sheet. So it's at the end. The upper end. Zoom drain is right to lot six. All right, I was wondering. Lot six, that helps. Zoom drain is lot six, and I believe uh, AV tech is lot 28. 28? Correct. Okay. Thank you. Take that. Okay. This is the match line for that. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm good uh, So on behalf of Crossbow Buildings, uh, St. Clair Associates, who are in the audience here, uh, has requested the Scarborough Sanitary District Board of Trustees approve of the approval of the proposed public sewer located within the private way as depicted in the provided plans. This would the sewer would serve as lot 6, 7, 11, 12, 28, and 29. The proposed sewer system is as follows. It's the sewer services for those lots I just mentioned. 177 uh, feet of 6-inch sanitary sewer service, 604 feet of 8-inch gravity sewer, two manholes, and all the proposed sewer infrastructure within the easement shall be transferred over to the district upon completion of the project. I recommend approval with the following conditions. Uh, sewer extension permit is required and a complete application of the associated fee shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Prior to the permit being executed, no site sewer work shall be completed. All sewer infrastructure shall have detectable underground utility marking tape and tracer wire according to district standards. A CCTV inspection of the installed sewer is required at the completion of the project. The revised easement incorporating district comments is, um, is executed in accordance with the Registry of Deeds. You do have a copy of the easement that they um, have proposed. They began with our standard language. They took it, they have modified it, and added some of the details with regards to um, uh, the locations. And I have since uh, forwarded that on to our attorney who is currently reviewing it and has yet to get back to me. So uh, upon receiving it, uh, as long as that uh, we incorporate any of our attorney's comments and we get it all executed, uh, uh, that's the reason for that statement there. Uh, final plan submitted to the for approval prior to issuance of the sewer extension permit and then uh, Professionally survey um, CAD drawings stamp PDF uh, for the uh, record plans provided in the district for completion. And that's all I can take a motion. So moved. Second. Discussion? Discussion? I just had one, um, I think the question is already made, but. Um, 
this is, I think this is the first one since I've been on the board. Uh, it. Um, were there any other changes besides just you know adding in the specifics of the project in terms of no, from our standard, no. Um, but I also that scan has been around for a while, so I I, I, I wanted it to get our attorneys yes. additional look at it. And they're gonna have comments. They always do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Providing uh, with the in light of the easement, just to make sure I, I got point four correct. As long as our attorneys don't come back and say anything, we're going to approve this based on their recommendations or comments. Actually, that's right in number four of the motion. Yeah, no, that's what I said. I want to make sure I can yeah. right. mm -hmm. uh, revise easement incorporated. So, if our attorney comes back, make some additional yeah, the changes, then they refuse to execute it. Um, yeah, that is, that is yeah, going to move forward. Any more comments? Barring none, all in favor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Yep. Yeah, I know I saw using the ground, so. Uh, and finally, the 12 month budget summary is included in the packet. I recommend approval. We can. Questions. Just wanted to remind folks that one of the reasons things like um, material supply equipment were a little above budget. Um, probably even with the work on Route 114, that was part of that. A big part of that. Otherwise, it's well below the overall budget. And kudos to the superintendent and the rest of the staff. Thanks for a wonderful year. Any more comments? Questions? All in favor? Not opposed? Public comments. Any comments, Thomas? <laughs> no. All right. Trustee comments. Joseph. Uh, no, I'd just like to congratulate the superintendent uh, and the staff for coming in on their budget, well on the budget. It's nice to see that we're, we can tell our uh, users that uh, we are being fiscally responsible and, and mindful of uh, infrastructure and capital improvements. And uh, I'd just like to thank the staff for their continued good work. Jason? I uh, just want to say thanks to the staff as well for being here in the budget. So I guess worked very hard and it's very much appreciated by this board. Also wanted to uh, send my condolences out to the Lello family. Uh, Mary Lello passed away at the end of the last month and in her 98 years on this planet. Uh, she did a lot for the town of Scarborough and was very well known and a very close member of our family and a great friend. Very sorry for her passing. Thank you. Paul? Um, I just echo the, the congratulatory uh, remarks on, uh, on the budget. That's a tremendous achievement. Judah? I'd like to also give my condolences to the Lovell family. Mary was a very good friend of mine, neighbor and friend, and I used to go and visit her quite often. And she was just a wonderful, wonderful person. So she will be missed. I feel bad for her family. Um, congratulations on the great budget from last year. And I also commend you for hosting Eagles, which is like herding cats. So I'm very impressed. But I think it's um, wonderful that they felt comfortable enough to reach out to you and say, can we come see what you're doing? Because I think it's a great 
It'd be a great field trip for any school to go on. But, they like um, the tour of the food factory. Yeah, they do. They love to talk about it. Yep, they love to talk about it. I'm sure you won't get a call from the Girl Scouts anytime <laughs> soon, but um, I mean, that's, I think that's really nice. And yeah, so I think that's a good thing. I'll echo my fellow trustees' comments. I'll also wish one good luck on the upcoming month. I'll stop by on the 17th. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May I ask who your audit firm is doing on it? So, well, uh, out of Lewis Yeah, that's where they're out of Lewis Yeah. Yeah, they've been hired. No worries. Forever. I remember another audit firm we used to have. It was McDonald Page. That's it, Mac Page. Page. Yeah. They are now with. Are they? This. They are now what? The new name for Mac Page is Whip Oh yeah. Uh, what's his name? Works there, right? Yeah. Uh, Christian. Christian. Yeah. He is my auditor. Christian. Oh, he is. Yes. Yeah. He's my name. Yes. He's also on the board of Taylor Hill. And I yes. bought him on the board of Taylor Hill. So anyway, that ends my comments. Okay, good. I'll entertain the final motion of the evening. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? None opposed. We're done. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, ladies. But I have a question.